What made you stop working hard at your job? I was licensed with my Series 7 and 66 and worked as an investment advisor in a call center for one of the big financial companies. I made around $50,000 base with the chance to get a meager quarterly bonus that was based on how much dollar we brought into the firm and how many new accounts we opened. Most teamed members brought in around $1 million per quarter. They made us compete with each other, so the top performer usually earned double the bonus of the poorest performer, and the average bonus was around $1,500. I was fortunate enough to answer the phone one day and a very wealthy client opened a new account and ended up bringing over $50 million into the firm. My bonus was only $1,000 extra that quarter, despite the fact that I had brought in the same amount of money as 50 employees. I immediately lost all motivation and to hit my sales targets, as it obviously didn't really matter in the end. As soon as I made enough to realize I could enjoy things in life. I have a modest car, house but have been to some amazing places, married an amazing woman, read amazing books, been to incredible art galleries. Jobs can easily get in the way of life. Yes, we have to do something and earn some money, but just level off if you're lucky enough to do things you enjoy and no more. Watching the new Fresh out of college girl who was the niece of a board of directors asked her to ride the bank corporate escalator. This girl seriously could not explain the difference between a dollar bill and a streetlight, yet was promoted into my department after three months took me six years to get there, made serious mistakes that cost the bank money lawsuits, never hit production goals, and had dozens of complaints from nearly every group she interacted with. She's now a senior vice president and I quit that POS company. I volunteered to help a fellow delivery driver complete their route after they called out sick and I was written up for failing to complete all their deliveries on top of mine. When I realized that the reward for efficiency and hard work was more work, and that a hard worker gets the same pay as a mediocre worker, I realized that no matter how many times they tell me they appreciate my hard work, when it comes to showing me that with a raise it isn't happening even when I worked my butt off through my entire pregnancy and complained as little as possible, even working several hours with my hip so out of place I could barely walk without crying. When I won Rookie of the Year for my very successful first year at the company and all I got was a paper reward with no bonus or raise in sight. We are constantly short-staffed and I'm expected to do multiple jobs. Well. They can't fire me due to low staffing levels so they get what they pay for. I cut a one-year contract working for the government in half by using some KVM switches so I could do double or triple the work at once. Once we finished our objective of imaging thousands of PCs earlier than expected, a dozen of us contractors got laid off. Now slow and easy and stoned is definitely the way to approach any tech job so I don't overachieve myself out of a job excelled at my job so I was given more work than everyone else that was paid the same as me. Had to show my supervisor, who made twice as much, how to do his job all the time. After I got divorced I was reprimanded for poor attitude at work. The final straw was being accused of faking an injury to get out of work. The screw in my foot disagreed with their accusation. What's really funny is, I stopped giving a shit at my job a long time ago, and ever since, I started getting promoted and getting more credit for things I didn't even do. Funny how the world works. When my boss and I agreed on goals for quarterly bonus, I achieved them, and then he made up excuses to not pay me. That is when I stopped hustling. He doesn't get that much of me without paying for it. We had a deal and he screwed me. When my boss was panicking to find a solution to her program. It was going to fail without an intervention. I found it. It literally kept the program in motion, and she had told me she would shout my name from the rooftop if I was able to find something. I am proud of the solution I found. It was innovative, cheap and effective. I thought surely I'll get some public recognition. Nope. Instead, I received no at a boy, and watched while she received an award for innovation. Lesson learned. I will offer no more ideas. I'll do what I'm asked, 
but never shall I offer my opinion again. Pandemic When I realized that I was one of a few left from when I started, everyone else left. I just did my job and went home. I have given nothing extra and they have been denied extra when asked. They have literally wore out probably several 100 people over the last two decades, but not me. Never stressed. Years ago it was a boss that attributed all my work to other people. I stopped caring after that. Eventually when I left, my boss asked me in front of HR in my exit interview, why didn't you put these accomplishments in your reviews? My reply, I did. He was sacked shortly after I left. After they told me I was going to be interviewed for promotion and they never did. I found out a month later they hired someone else. Then they tried telling me I was up for promotion two more times. However, my manager friend did some digging and revealed they never intended on interviewing me, yet again. Why bother leading me on? Because I was one of the best techs they had and it cost them my employment. Not that they give a shit. I busted my ass for over a year, showed how hard I work sat down with my boss to discuss a much needed raise. I advised I would even be willing to take on more work to show I'm worth the investment. I was offered a promotion for double the workload we came on an agreed upon amount. A few weeks later the amount was changed to drumroll please post tax 1400.00 for the year I immediately started applying for other jobs. I started a business that paid me more than my day job, so I just stopped caring about the job and quit eventually. Boss hooked his friends up, gave them credit for others' work. They gave boss's friend a promotion, and leader. I read when you give a mouse a cookie and it shaped how I deal with my co-workers and boss cookie, 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 mouse, 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 cool face, cool face. Getting older and being sidelined so that younger employees could accelerate their development. Two jobs back doing HVAC. A manager came up to me towards the end of my day all but pleading for me to head over to a work site to finish getting the furnaces in the apartment complex finished and fired off because they were due to be finished that day. So I stayed late and finished the job at around 9 p.m. The next day I walked up to him and told him that I got the units done and he just gave me a thumbs up and walked off. That was the last nail in the coffin for me. Never go above and beyond for management that gives no fucks about you or anyone else that has to do the grunt work. Three straight years of profits, and not just getting by profits, and no pay increases over that time. Weak attempts to make up for it, like happy hour Thursdays or buying a ping pong table to use when we have downtime, god forbid you give someone an extra 0.50 c an hour. Cancer after working two positions for four months then training someone for another two months, my company decided that I should only get less than half the yearly raise most got due to being in my new position for only six months. They didn't give a shit about the other six months I covered two positions. When they massively cut our bonus structure, benefits, and pension. At the same time they paid sea level massive bonuses for saving money. They blame the 2008-2009 crash, but our company had record profits. Simply taking advantage of a soft job market to put the screws to us. Thankfully I called the bottom of the 2009 market and tripled my 401k on the rebound. Adios at age 59. I sold nicotine products to barely legals, in Methville, Indiana, for $9 hour, in a highlighter yellow t-shirt with a cartoon logo on it named Cigarette Phil. I eventually started bringing a six-pack to work, I did it on camera and everything, it took them a week to catch me. I was just done. Every single aspect of that job made me feel like a rotten human. It was in 2017. I was denied a promotion and it was given to someone with zero experience, zero education, and zero interest in doing the job. She quickly switched sections and the promo was given to someone else. Who then went on to fail within six months. It was then I knew the fix was in and I stopped giving a damn about work, chicken.